In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate variations in pressure with respect to elevation. The question reads, what is the pressure at 3,000 meters of elevation above the Earth? To answer this type of question, we need to refer to the barometric formula. And as you can see, the barometric formula is an exponential equation with the base E. To use this formula correctly, we need to make a few assumptions. The very first assumption is that the temperature is zero degrees Celsius at 3,000 meters. The reason this assumption is made is because the closer you get to the Earth, the hotter it becomes. That's because the Earth radiates the heat that it absorbs from the sun, heating up the air molecules. Hence, it's colder up there than it is down here. So if we set T equal to zero degrees Celsius, converting that into Kelvin, that's 273 Kelvin. We will also need to know the molecular weight of air, which consists of mostly oxygen and nitrogen. The molecular weight of air, which can be calculated separately, but normally it will be given in a question like this, is roughly 28.8 grams per mole. If you would like to see the calculation for this, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll gladly make a video for it. So this value will replace M, but it needs to be in kilograms per mole. So we'll multiply this by one kilogram per 1,000 grams. Essentially, we'll divide by 1,000 to get 0 0.0288 kilograms per mole. The gravitational constant represented by G is 9.8 meters per second squared. And this R is also a constant. It can be written in different ways, but the one that we'll be using here is 8.3 joules per mole times Kelvin. This will ensure that the units cancel out nicely. The value of Y will be 3000. And the reason why we have this negative in the exponent is because the pressure must decrease as the altitude increases. So by placing this negative there, it ensures that the calculation shows a decrease in pressure as we go up. So before we put all these numbers into the formula, Remember also that the pressure, or the initial pressure, represented as P sub zero, is one atmosphere. So that is equal to one atmosphere. And remember that atmosphere is a unit of pressure that can be converted into pascals, where one pascal is equal to one newton per meter squared. Just be mindful of that in case you do not want to use atmospheres as a unit. Okay, now we can plug in all these values. So we have one ATM, multiply to e to the power of m being 0 0.0288 kilograms per mole. That gets multiplied to 9.8 meters per second squared. And then we divide this, remember this is all within the exponent, by r being 8.3 joules per mole times Kelvin, and the temperature is 273 Kelvin. And before I show you how these units cancel out, I'll multiply this by 3,000 meters, which is the elevation. The Kelvin and the Kelvin cancel, this mole and that mole cancel. One joule is equal to one kilogram times meters squared per second squared. So this kilogram this meter and this meter combine into meters squared, and this second squared is what consists of one joule, so all of these go away. Now let me show you how to calculate this with a calculator. So negative 0 0.0288 times 9.8 times 3,000, and that gets divided by 8.3 times 273. This is the exponent for the base E. To access the base E, which is roughly 2.71, but we want the exact value, you click alpha, this button, and then raise it to the power of the answer we just obtained. That then gets multiplied to one atmosphere, meaning that the total pressure at 3,000 meters is 0 0.69 atmosphere. Notice how the pressure is much less than it is at the base of the Earth being one atmosphere. And that's expected as there are less air molecules up there 
relative to what it is at sea level. And so there you have it. Now you know how to calculate the variation of pressure using the barometric formula.